get this smaller with the number 45 as I knew before. As I into the life of her son. For you are son of God and son of Mary. Lord, have mercy. Lord, yes. Word made flesh, you are the splendor of the Father. Christ, have mercy. Lord, yes. You are the way, the truth, and the life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, yes. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and may he bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, grant we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, he who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amos. It is the Lord who speaks. <clears throat> that day I will re erect the tottering hut of David, make good the gaps in it, restore its ruins, and rebuild it as it was in the days of old, so that they can conquer the remnant of Edom and all the nations that belong to me. It is the Lord who speaks, <clears throat> and he will carry this out. The days are coming now. It is the Lord who speaks. When harvest will follow directly after ploughing, the 
treading of grapes soon after sowing, when the mountains will run with new wine and the hills all flow with it. I mean to restore the fortunes of my people Israel. They will rebuild the ruined cities and live in them, plant vineyards and drink their wine, dig gardens and eat their produce. I will plant them in their own country, never to be rooted up again out of the land I have given them, says the Lord your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response to the psalm. The Lord speaks peace to his people. The Lord speaks peace to his people. I will hear what the Lord God has to say, a voice that speaks of peace, peace for his people and his friends, and those who turn to him in their hearts. The Lord speaks peace to his people. Mercy and faithfulness have met, justice and peace have embraced. Faithfulness shall spring from the earth, and justice look down from heaven. The Lord speaks peace to his people. The Lord will make us prosper, and our earth shall yield its fruit. Justice shall march before him, and peace shall follow his steps. The Lord speaks peace to his people. The Gospel Acclamation. Let your face shine on your servant and teach me your decrees. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. John's disciples came to Jesus and said, Why is it that we and the Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not? And Jesus replied, Surely the bridegroom's attendants would never think of mourning as long as the bridegroom is still with them. But the time will come for the bridegroom to be taken away from them, and then they will fast. No one puts a piece of unshrunken cloth onto an old cloak, because the patch pulls away from the cloak and the tear gets worse. Nor do people put new wine into old wineskins. If they do, the skins burst, the wine runs out, and the skins are lost. No, they put new wine into fresh skins, and both are preserved. The Gospel of the Lord. Amen. Amos, speaking for God, speaks how God will rebuild. He will re-erect the tottering hut of David, restore its ruins, rebuild ruined cities and live in them, plant vineyards, drink their wine, dig gardens and eat their, their produce. God somehow is restoring and making whole that which was broken. And I think that's where the gospel passage takes us as well. Only Jesus speaks in terms of old cloaks and new patches and old wine and, and new wine skins. New wine needs new wine skins. I think the church sees itself as that new wine skin to hold the new wine that is the good news that Christ brings us. The old wineskin, if you want, the old Jewish faith was not enough to hold what Christ was bringing. It's not that he was abolishing it, as Matthew will tell us. He was completing it. But it had to be renewed. Thank God it has been renewed. I think that's how our church understands itself as the new Israel, as the new people of God. God is fulfilling, restoring that which was broken 
and run down. We have a new 12 tribes and the 12 apostles. We have a new king of Israel, Jesus Christ. We have, because of him being our king, we have a new queen of Israel, Mary, his mother. We understand ourselves in terms of what has gone before. It helps us make sense of who we are. Something new, beautiful has been created. God has rebuilt, not in the way that Amos was trying to imagine it. He has rebuilt his city. He has made a new heavenly Jerusalem. And that new wineskin is to encompass every people from every language and every culture and every background. All are called to be part of this new wine, to share in what Christ has won for us, to share in what he offers us. The old couldn't, couldn't hold that anymore. We did something new. And thank God in Christ, we have it. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread that we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Yes. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine that we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and will become our spiritual drink. Yes. My sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. We offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, as we rejoice in commemorating the mother of your Son. Grant we pray that through this most holy exchange we may advance towards eternal redemption. Again, we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name in veneration of the Blessed and Ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you heaven and the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. 
May our voices be pray joined with theirs in the humble praise as we are praying. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Together with Francis our Pope, with William our Bishop, with all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, the blessed apostles with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. And through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of your Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever. And, uh, and at the Saviour's command and followed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. We offer each other a sign for that peace. Lamb of God,
Again, for those at home, we say a prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I passionately desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my soul so that I may unite myself wholly to you now and forever. Amen. And let us pray. Renewed with this heavenly food, we humbly implore you, Lord, that having received your Son, born of the tender virgin, under sacramental signs, we may profess him in words and hold fast to him in deeds. For he lives and reigns forever and ever. And the Lord be with you. And the Almighty God bless us all, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We'll go in peace. Yes. And we'll finish with 241, Immaculate Name.